Hey everyone, you're about to watch a video that's going to get thousands of views. Very cool, but your ad needs to be right here. Give me a call. Kentucky Transportation Cabinet District 12 is preparing for a bridge replacement project at Long Fork in Pike County. The two-phase project will begin Monday, December 11th when motorists can expect some delays and one-lane traffic for the time being. Construction is expected to be complete in spring of 2024. The intersection of 1469 and 3414, they're on the right fork of Long Fork. Uh, so that bridge is going to be uh, replaced in two uh, separate sections. So we're not going to have a, a, a separate detour. Uh, people are actually going to be able to travel along the bridge. We're going to work on, we're essentially splitting the bridge in half. So we're going to work on um, replacing one section of the bridge while traffic flows on the alternating section. And then we're going to flip flop that. Um, and so once this section is complete, we'll um, change the traffic patterns. Traffic can flow on that section and then we'll work on demo and repairing and replacing the opposite lane. Peak traffic times will likely cause some delays in the mornings and evenings. As always, be mindful of any additional signage and construction workers when in the area. There's peak travel times and people know when those are. So those are in the mornings when we're uh, the commute, when we're uh, the kids are on the school bus, when you're trying to get to work. Uh, and in the evenings for those commutes, when you're coming home, when the kids are on the bus, those times. So during those peak travel times, you know, traffic could get backed up. And so I like to remind people, be aware of those times, give yourself plenty of time, you know, plan your day, plan your schedule. This is going to be ongoing for quite some time. So uh, know ahead that traffic is probably going to get backed up during those peak travel times and just go ahead and plan to give yourself more time during those times especially. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.